Hi, my name is Slay and welcome to The Little Reader's Corner. Today I am going to start off with a challenge, a reading challenge, and I'm a little scared. I have been tossing around the idea of either doing a certain number of pages to read per day or to read for a certain amount of time. I asked y'all for some input in my 24 hour readathon vlog where I tried to kickstart myself back into reading. And most of the recommendations I got from that video was to read for a certain amount of time so that I can just block out some time in my day, read, and then it doesn't matter how much reading I'm getting done, but I am reading for that period of time. I'm in the middle of many books right now and the camera is on top of all of those books. So I'm doing this challenge for the next week. I want to finish Hungry Hearts and I want to finish The Displaced. I am a little bit further than I was in my 24 hour readathon vlog, if you saw it. I am more than halfway in The Displaced and I'm almost halfway in Hungry Hearts. I really need to finish these. I also have two buddy reads going on, so I am continuing everything that I was reading, basically my 24 hour readathon vlog. But I also really want to start a new book. So I am hoping that by motivating myself to read an hour every single day and vlogging it and keeping myself accountable here, I will get myself out of this reading slump because you know, the 24 hour readathon did help. I want to keep reading now and I am picking up books. I'm just not reading for that long. So hopefully this works. It's already like late afternoon. I already did read quite a few essays from The Displaced today. And I think I'm going to read a couple short stories from Hungry Hearts right now. If you don't know what Hungry Hearts is about, it's a collection of 13 short stories written by 13 different Asian authors. And it takes place in this fictional world of Hungry Hearts Row. All of the different stories kind of connect because they have this universe of characters. So you can see characters from some short stories pop up in other ones, which I think is really fun. And I'm going to keep reading this collection. So let's do this. Okay, so it is exactly one hour later. I have been reading Hungry Hearts for this entire time. Let's see what page I started on because I actually don't know. Okay, so it looks like I started on page 163 and I ended on 246. So 83 pages. Yeah, 83 pages. You know what? That's pretty good. I will take that. And look at that. I don't have that much left. I think I have like a little over 100 pages. And then I'm done. So honestly, I think tomorrow I can finish both Hungry Hearts and The Displaced. I think I can do it because this was just one hour, but I think I can probably read for a little more than an hour. But right now it is six o'clock and I think I'm going to make some food and lie down because I am very tired. <laughs> I don't really know what I did today. Oh, I filmed a book haul. I filmed my book haul today and just filming it was like one and a half hours. So yeah, I'll talk to you later. All right, so we have made it to day two of this reading challenge venture. I basically spent the last two hours trying to edit my book haul video, which I thought was going to be under an hour, and it is. It's 59 minutes long. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do about it, but you know, that's that's tomorrow's Soleil's problem. She's gonna worry about it. For now, I'm going to drink the rest of this coffee that got cold that I just had to reheat. I know, rough. And I am going to read, I think, one short story from Hungry Hearts, and then I'm going to read some other things later so that I can branch out in my reading venture. 
The one main thing that we need to get done today, besides for the reading challenge, is I need to repot my plants. It has to happen. My herbs are dying. I know one is basically already a goner. The second one is also very much dead. The mint is somehow surviving, but they're, they're very much, they're pretty dead. I have tried my best. I really have. I, I like underwater them and then I overwater them and I, I, I really don't know what to do. I have never repotted a plant in my life before. I'm scared, <laughs> I'm really afraid. Also, like I live in an apartment complex. Like, am I supposed to go outside to do this? Like, I'm just gonna lay down like an old bed sheet and do it on top of that. Um, is the dirt supposed to be wet? When I'm repotting it, is it supposed to be dry? I don't know, I don't know. And that is why I have, you know, not done this when I should have. I, I should have done this. I should have got potting soil earlier, but two weeks ago, that's right, two weeks ago, Maddie got potting soil with me and I have still not done it. And I'm still afraid that today I will not do it, but I have to do it. I have to do it today because these plants are dying and I don't want to be a plant murderer. I'm trying, I really am. Anyways, that's the update. I'm gonna go read now for maybe 15 minutes, I think, while I drink this coffee before it gets cold again. And then I'm going to sit down, I'm going to listen to an audiobook. I'm probably gonna to listen to the fifth season, which is Buddy Read right now, and I am going to repot some plants. Hmm? It's, I will do it. I can't promise, but I, I will try to do it. Such a short time. garbage but at least I finished a book hmm. haven't had that feeling in quite some time I've been reading this book for one and a half months I finally made it through you know what I think overall it is a three star I really enjoyed some of the short stories some of them were just okay. I typically don't enjoy short stories that much anyways because I feel like they usually lack a lot of character development. Some of these had quite a bit of character development squeezed in there. But I also find that most of them don't have a plot. Like there were quite a few in these, the ones that I liked the most, that had an actual plot. And then there were other ones that were just nothing. But overall three stars it was really cute there were some lovely moments in here but just a solid all right read in my mind i think i might call it a day my timer did go off i read a little bit longer than an hour so i did it i completed the challenge even though i felt like a garbage can and for that we are feeling proud i think i'm going to make some tacos and just not leave my bed for the next 12 hours. Cool. See ya tomorrow. <laughs>of this reading challenge and I just read for 45 minutes so it's going very well I only have like 20 pages left in the displaced and then I will be mostly done with books left over from my May TBR which is very exciting so I think I'm going to reheat my coffee for the third time 
we're doing we're doing great we're doing we're doing very great <laughs> and then i am going to read the last two essays in this the other essays that i read this morning were just phenomenal this is 100 percent a five star read i didn't expect it to be anything less but it's just phenomenal so i am going to reheat the coffee read i almost said drink the last 20 pages of this and then i might attempt to repot my plants while listening to an audiobook i tried yesterday but um the mental health hit a certain point and then it just went downhill and i decided that i needed to retreat for the rest of the day and just you know yeah you know okay so i'm gonna do that really hoping i can catch up on my other two buddy reads as well and then there will be an opportunity to start a new book and i am most definitely going to be doing a poll on instagram which by the time you watch this will already be done finished i will have already started the new book you know but i've been really wanting to read like at least seven different books so i might do like a bracket tournament which might be a little excessive i i see that i see how that might be the case first i'm going to finish this and then i will have finished two books in this which is very exciting for me i am feeling like there is hope <laughs> <laughs> so you know love that for me and then catch it up which we can do which we can do so let's go team reading The Displaced. This collection is absolutely heart-wrenching and formidable and it tells so many deeper stories of refugee lives and if you aren't familiar with the 15 or so current refugee crises going on around the world, please educate yourself on it because there's a lot going on and if you want more personal anecdotes and stories about what refugees and asylum seekers and migrants go through this is an excellent collection to check out absolutely phenomenal so i did it i read for about an hour and 15 minutes today and i still feel like reading i think Honestly, finishing two books and honestly reading this collection has really inspired me to keep reading, so I'm just going to roll with it. I'm probably going to make like an early lunch sometime soon, and I really need to repot those plants. <laughs> so I think listening to an audiobook while I repot the plants is going to be the perfect motivation, so let's go do that. Well, <laughs> I just unpacked the last of my boxes. I still had about five or six boxes that had been shipped over here from my storage unit, you know, the ongoing moving in saga. And they'd been sitting there for forever. I didn't know where to put half of the stuff because I don't have like set places to put some things yet. It feels so much nicer in my apartment now because there aren't things everywhere. Then I cleaned, then I took out the garbage and the recycling, and you know what? During all of that, I was listening to the fifth season, and I listened to two chapters, which was two hours total. So I have read for a little over three hours today. <laughs> I'm very happy I'm now a synced with the buddy read i'm actually ahead of the buddy read for the fifth season which is so good because 
and then I can focus on some other books while Jade and Olivia Savannah catch up. And now I'm going to repot my plants. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so scared that I'm going to do it wrong and I'm going to for sure kill them because I've never repotted a plant. So we're just going to do it. We're just going to do it. Okay. I'm going to listen to a podcast and we're going to make it a fun time. Let's, let's do it. <laughs> lighting we can thank my beautiful little Edison bulb creation there look at that oh I love it so much anyways it's now 9 p.m. um I don't even know if I updated today oh I think I had some b-roll of my binet <laughs> but I had some binets this morning and some coffee and then I edited a video <laughs> is that all I did today <laughs> It took me so long to edit my book haul. It's 49 minutes long. If you got this far into this vlog, please go watch my book haul. I spent so long editing it and I'm so proud of it. Oh my gosh, it took the life out of me today. But after I finished editing, I went to watch In the Heights, which was phenomenal, of course. It's a full musical, so Similar to Les Miserables, it is singing almost the whole way through. It's more singing heavy in the beginning. So in the beginning, it's like whoosh, singing, but there is a little more talking happening um, a little bit later. But absolutely phenomenal. Very uplifting, but also very real and talks about um, dreamers and DACA and undocumented immigrants and undocumented Americans and... I cried either two or three times. I don't know, towards the end, it was a blur. It was just, it was a lot of emotion. It was a lot of feeling, but it was fantastic. So if you follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, you should definitely should. It's a good time over there. I, I have putting it, I've been putting in some effort into my recent lunch, which is very exciting. But I did a poll. <laughs> I did like a 24 hour series of polls where I did a bracket style you know you know how they do in basketball with the brackets and then it's like a competition championship to the last final bracket okay well I did that I took eight books that I really want to read that were all featured in my recent book haul so you know if you want some more info on them go check out the book haul but I paired them up so that it was four sets of two two books going against each other and then I took the four winners from that and then I put those against each other and then I took the two winners of that which was actually Malibu Rising and People We Meet on Vacation which is funny because these are both contemporaries and I had I mean most a lot of the ones on there were contemporaries but it's interesting because these feel slightly similar in my mind and they both were like the top contenders I don't know the people the people spoke okay you know what the people spoke so 
I just saw that Malibu Rising is the winner, which is very exciting. So I haven't read today yet. It is nine o'clock. I still need to finish watching the episode of Loki that just came out today that I haven't even finished watching. So I'm going to finish that episode and then I'm going to do my darndest, try my best to read for an hour. I'm a little afraid because yesterday, okay, yesterday, yesterday was a wild time, y'all. So I did all the reading that I talked about, but then I did more reading and then, we're about to get really bold, and then I read before bed. Oh, please stop it. Oh, you're too, you're too kind. I'm, pr I'm proud of myself too, thank you. So for the last couple of months, I have been watching like re-watching my favorite shows and sitcoms right before bed because I need that comfort. It's okay if because of the blue light, I'm not able to fall asleep as quickly as before, um, but I also have had some insomnia recently. So, you know, it's all, it's all working together to um, not let me sleep. <laughs> But it's fine. So I just I just needed that the last couple of months, year and a half, you know, and I had difficulty reading before bed. But yesterday I picked up a book, I read before bed, and then I fell asleep. I know, it's really exciting. So this means two things. One, um, I feel confident that I can read before bed again, but this also means that I've now fallen asleep while reading the night before, so my brain might be like, reading time, sleeping time. So, clearly I'm stalling. <laughs> We're gonna see how it goes. Maybe I'll just have like a caffeinated beverage before. Not like a caffeinated beverage, no, 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 I just mean like a fizzy beverage. Not, not caffeine, just bubbles. I just want some bubbles. <laughs> okay, cool. I read for more than an hour. I got to page like 62 or something like that. So far, it is very good. Honestly, like just the writing is so fantastic that you just keep reading no matter what. <sighs> oh man, it's like 11. Anyways, it's a good book. Goodbye. <laughs> what is up y'all? It is. Thursday, I just spent an hour working on one job application and then I got to the final page of the application and there was a section that I didn't have the qualifications to fill out which hadn't been mentioned at the beginning of the application so I had to toss that application out even though I spent an hour working on it then I spent another hour working on a different application and I sent that one out and that was fine and everything was great, but oh my goodness. <sighs> so now I am going to grab some leftover fruit from yesterday and I'm going to watch all three brand new released episodes of the new iCarly because yes, I have a Paramount Plus subscription now just for iCarly and it's gonna be wonderful. Um, yeah, and then I'll talk to you after all of that. We'll talk about the reading. We'll talk about the reading then. But I will say that after I did my last update, after I read Malibu Rising for an hour last night, I read a bunch of the Anthropocene Reviewed, so, and then I fell asleep. It was wonderful, it was great. Now I'm going to get some food. Okay, let's just hope that the camera is focused because I can't fully see myself in the viewfinder, but yeah, it's fine because 
my both of my pairs of glasses have just been slipping down my nose so much recently and been causing me so many headaches <sighs> whatever anyways it's now 9 37 and i'm gonna start my hour of reading i oh, most of today was just job applications and then i filmed a video and i edited a video and then food and oh my gosh I'm so tired, but it's reading time, so um, I think I'm going to continue with Malibu Rising, and I have a little treat. I have one more macaron. Got some more Newman's Own fake Oreos and some Moscato, so it's gonna be a good time. All right, let's read. Um, so it is now Friday. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue this into the weekend, but you know what? We'll find out at the end of today. <laughs> so I did read for 30 minutes this morning and I got to page 183 in Malibu Rising. Excuse me? Hello? So you know what? It's going pretty well. Like, damn. I'm impressed with myself. I'm almost on page 200 and it's only been like two days. Like two and a half. Okay, it's been like three days, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. And now I got a new bookcase because in case you didn't know, um, here's my bookshelf and here are the rest of my books. Yeah, it's a situation. So I'm now going to put my bookshelf together. That is a completely separate video that will be happening. So I'll look out for that. And then I'll be reorganizing my two shelves, which is <laughs> really exciting. I can't wait. Oh, but first I have to spend like two hours putting this thing together. So I'll probably be listening to an audiobook and that will be the fifth season, which is a buddy read with Jade and Olivia Savannah. And right now we left off at a really exciting chapter. So honestly, I can't wait to keep listening. Let's build a bookcase. <laughs> Right, so I have decided that I am just going to leave this challenge as a weekday challenge because I watched the Euro Cup of the game of Germany versus Portugal. I know you don't care, but it, I watched that game and that took up most of my Saturday and then most of my Sunday was doing my bookshelves, which is an entirely different video that you should definitely check out that either came out just before this one or just after this one. So look at it, it's a good time. I have a lot of fun, but let's get back to the real thing. So I am currently on page 261. I got really far in this this week. Honestly, I'm very impressed with myself. I think that this challenge of reading an hour every day went very well. I think it has really gotten me into back into reading because now I'm not going to bed and watching a YouTube video or re-watching a sitcom or something like that right before I go to bed, which I know is not good for my circadian rhythms and my sleeping patterns. And I know probably not helping the slight insomnia that I've got right now, but it's fine. Sometimes you just need something to get through it. And that's what I needed. <laughs> for the past year and a half, and now I think I am finally ready to go back into reading before I go to bed, which is so exciting. So if you're in a reading slump, and if you want to get out of the reading slump and go back into reading, I think reading slumps are fine. Honestly, I can't push myself to read consistently and constantly throughout the entire year. There's a lot of pressure on myself and it's fine to not read. It's okay. You can have other hobbies. It's fine. Make sure that you're still reading for fun, you know? So I love doing this challenge. I loved how it got me back into reading. And I'm thinking, since I haven't finished this yet and because we're nearing the end of June and I haven't gotten to a lot of the books, that I meant to get to for the end of this year. So I think I'm going to up 
the ante for the next challenge. I think for this next coming week, I am going to challenge myself to read 100 pages every day. So we're gonna see how that goes because that's basically double of what this challenge was because I think my average reading speed is 60 pages per hour, so one page a minute. So this would mean I would probably be reading about two hours a day, which you know would be about double of what I was reading this past week, but it really depends on the book I'm reading. I could be reading a lot faster or a lot slower, so doing it by page count can really change how long I'll be reading every day. So if you wanna check that out, that's gonna be the next challenge I'll be doing. That'll be out in about a week or so, but this was so much fun. I look forward to finishing this this next week, but so far I am absolutely loving Malibu Rising. I think I still love Daisy Jones and the Six and the Seven of Husbands of Ellen Hugo. The best out of Taylor Jenkins Reid's books, but also I personally don't think it's fair to compare an author's work. So then again, I also retract that statement because I think it's hard to compare stories because they all have different themes that they're going through. They all have different personalities and characters that are a part of it. So I think this is fantastic. I love the style that this is written. If you don't know, this story is written kind of in an interesting style. It, it takes place in a day, but there are also flashback scenes where you learn more about the parents of these four siblings about what they went through their love story how those things fell apart that kind of thing and how that later impacts their four kids so really fascinating if you love character driven stories this is entirely that the plot kind of unfolds because you start off reading the story knowing that there is a party at the end of the day and something happens at that party that will impact all of the characters so everything's building up to this big party and then the party happens and during the party you're going to multiple different characters and seeing little bits of their lives but all of the characters are so believable in this that even this random stranger that only gets like three pages feels like a fully fleshed out human. It's fantastic, I'm really loving it. So I can't wait to finish reading this. So I'm going to leave you with that for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have ever done this kind of reading challenge before, if it was a certain time of reading or a certain page count or something else, please let me know. I'd love to hear how that went. And if you do try this, also let me know. And remember to comment, like, and definitely subscribe so you will see when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!